radio. Whatever you say. Oh. Then I immediately go and do it. Why the hell not? Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 2 of Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. Last time we completed the first memory sequence of the game, The Escape, which acted as a tutorial to the style of gameplay in this game, where Xiao Zhong escaped capture and began a quest of vengeance against the tigers and killed one of the members, Gao Feng. Alright, so we are heading into chapter 2, The Return, so which is also set in the Magisang Grottos in 1526. After assassinating Gao Feng, one of the Templars who ruled China in the shadow of the Emperor, Xiao Zhong has to escape the Magisang Hill. Okay, yeah, that's completely fine by me. It's win on normal. This was once a safe place for us assassins. Sung Yong's tigers saw to the end of that. Their forces surprised and overwhelmed us, all but wiping out the Brotherhood. Gaudi's oh, no. death will send a message to the Templars. The assassins have returned. Spooky. With Gao Feng dead, Shandra must escape through the vast caves and cliff sides of the, the previous home before the Templars realize one of their masters is dead. So, with upgrades, we can expand Eagle Vision and increase throwing knife ammo. With Oh, that's in the plus game mode. Right, okay. I forgot about that. So, once you start coming through on, on like the game mode plus, you start getting other unlockables. Um, we won't be getting that in the Let's Play. We'll just be doing the base playthrough. And obviously, if you follow that, it should pretty much can carry over to the new game plus except the enemies will be probably more vigilant um but yeah i'm gonna be returning the assassin scrolls as well so we've got zhu jiang zhu jiang 1473 to 1524 was a chinese master assassin and mentor he was the head of the beijing assassins brotherhood and notably trained xiao Zhong from initiate to the full rank of assassin he traveled with her to europe hoping to help find help from assassin uh, Hoping to find help from Ezio Auditorium in their quest to rebuild the Chinese Brotherhood. In 1524, Zhu was killed in a fight with Templar agents in Venice. Alright. So that's boogie. Like I said, there is a, there is a chance um, I will um, finish the new game plus in on Twitch at some point. But I'm not making any promises. But this will just be the first uh, playthrough. Time to become more familiar with my surroundings. Okay, Eagles think to be used to show the location of objectives. Ah, okay. Never mind. Alright, so. Let's see where we are. There's our sync points up there. You see fragments up ahead as well. I think there'll be chests in this level as well. I didn't check. But, um. Hang on. Uh, see, so you've got a fragment there. Lock box. Oh, sorry, loot box, objective, another fragment. Fragment. Oh, it's actually about all, has it? At least for the time being. There's our first chest down there. Um, okay, hang on, yeah. So we've got one sink point, nine shards, two chests. Okay, cool. Okay, so obviously these guys are having a little chit chat, so we should be able to sneak by relatively clear tissue. Shadow gold. Likes to really like to see it. Okay. Ooh. All right, there, dude. About the time. This path is really peaceful. Eh, yeah, you guys are morons. You really are. All right. This would be probably where we're going to get introduced to. Yeah, the uh, dash. Cool. Alright. It's pretty, uh, pretty nifty upgrade for us. Okay, guys can go over reinforcements to help with the fight. Reinforcements are hidden behind closed doors. Well, like I said, hopefully that's never going to be something we're going to have to deal with, but it's nice to know at the very least. Just check in. Yeah, those are the first fragments up top there. Yeah, I know. Come on, Bucko. Out of the way. Uh, 
I know, I was just trying to get into my, uh, drill into my head. Yes, we know of that ability. Don't worry about it, game. I got this. There's the fragments up there, so I want to make sure we, uh, grab that before we leave. Let's get a good run up. No, what the I said run up, I didn't mean go up. Right. Nice. Okay, did that. Okay. I think we could probably jump from the other end, but we're not going to. We'll just uh, head up this way. We're safe. Magician statues. The Maishan grottoes contain literally thousands of religious statues and sculptures. They vary in size greatly, with the largest standing 16 meters tall and the smallest a mere 10 centimeters. They differ from other similar grottoes by the fact that they are that most are not carved directly from the rock and are instead clay models. Okay, this will be the dash thing it's telling me about, isn't it? Reinforcement songs, wall climbing as well. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay, now it's going to make me uh, go on the side down here. That's fine. Let's drop. Oh, God. No, uh, let's do that first, then I can get it restocked. Oh, no, apparently it didn't count. Alright, sweet. Works for me. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Uh, right. That looks deadly. Falling objects will create a sound and distract guards. Use throwing knives to cut ropes that are holding up objects just like, like planks and boxes to cause a distraction. Okay. Ooh. Oh, go down, go down, go down, quick, quick. This is my new moving dash. Must have been a bird. That's that's right. Certainly was. Okay. Come on, dude. Hurry up. Come on. What about your position? Okay. Ah, oh, right. Okay, that's how you're supposed to do it. Right, we did it. All's well. Okay, right, we've got to another fragment. In just a minute. That was right next to us anyway, we can't miss that, surely. Okay, alright, what do we got here? Hmm. Oh, okay, so we're actually. Didn't need to go down. Ah, so that's how you, okay. So you can miss it, I suppose. Um, hmm. Oh, what is it? Hmm. I feel like I heard something. I'm not so bad. Oh. Okay. I didn't know we could uh, go around that section. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay. I've got an idea. I've got a thunk. That's not what I wanted. Thank you. At least we got the shroud. That's all. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, we don't have to worry about it. Oh, wait, no. Okay. So we got the shard. So we got that out of the way. But I didn't realize we could just jump from up here. Hmm. Okay, so I didn't actually have to do that the second time. Right oh, and yeah, we're still on target. Still on target. 
Okay, crossbowman. This guard used, uses a powerful ranged weapon. He will also use his crossbow to do melee attacks at close range to stay focused on, and you can dodge his bolts. Okay, got a documents. Yeah, the crossbows. Crossbows are very old weapons and are present in Sun Tzu's The Art of War, written between 500 BC and 300 BC. It is thought that the Chinese were the first to invent the repeating crossbow. An attached magazine would mechanically replace a fired bolt with another weather shoot to rearm the weapon. Cool. Okay, what about these assassin scrolls? We've not come across any of those yet. Um, not missed any, have we? Not in my luck, we missed all three. Um, okay. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, there's all three. Okay, cool. All right. We're still good. Oh, so there's Ah, oh, another. So to dodge projectiles, press B when the M line is red. Try again. Good work. Close for the kill. Right. Your training is almost done. Okay. So there's no hiding place down there, is there? I think there is anyway. That doesn't appear to be. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Hmm. Oh, I feel like I know what I was supposed to do now. But... No, right. Alright, so I have to try for ages to uh, find a way to distract this guy, whistle him over and uh, flashbang him. I'm failing terribly. I actually found out that you can't do that, uh, at least on the um, normal game, uh, by distracting him, getting through on skate and getting the chest. So we're just going to have to get this and then reset the checkpoint, unfortunately. So we've got Scroll 1. Shao Zhong was born in 1505 in Imperial Captivity and was raised to become a concubine in the Forbidden City. At first she was of lower rank and was one of many girls who hoped to become a wife of the Emperor. She was taught the traditional arts displayed by the ladies of the Imperial Court, embroidery, singing and reading, but early on showed exceptional talent for dance and music. Her agility and cat-like discretion fascinated Emperor Zengde. As he liked abusing his power to humiliate his court, he often used the child Shao Zhong as his spy or thief to stage jokes against eunuchs or even ministers. He also forbid that Xiao Zhang be footbound so that she didn't lose her dancing abilities, although footbounding was a key asset to becoming an attractive woman. Okay, very strange. Alright, now we've got to restart the checkpoint. And thankfully the chest is still there. Well, still um, undone. So. We can get through and get our shadow gold and our reward. I was hoping to do it legit because I was, I was even just. I was just tempting that. Um. Just because I was getting so annoyed, but I was like, no, there's got to be a legit way of doing it, and there isn't a legit way of doing it. So you, that's literally the way they expect you to do it. So anyway, that's uh, several minutes of my life I'm never getting back. Okay, is there anything down here? No, it doesn't like it. All right. No. Why won't you jump? Let's just jump, shall? Might as well jump. Just go ahead and jump. All right. Let's try and catch up. Obviously, it doesn't make a difference to you because I'm going to have edited all that out, but it does to me. Just checking. I don't miss anything. Good. I don't want to have a repeat of last episode. So I'm just a bit paranoid. Okay, okay. Looking good, looking good. Okay. Hmm. It's not letting me equip my weapons. 
Oh, use the noise down to let the gut away from the hay bale. Press LB to aim and RB to throw. Oh, we've got to get in range. Uh -huh. Okay. Ah, no, I see. That that would have probably uh, that would have helped me get that objective, the uh, the the chest without having to restart checkpoint. But okay, okay, we are not killing this full apparently. I assume we're doing the same the other way. Oh, no, never mind. Expecting to have to use another uh, dart as we're in there, but. Okay, let's go through the foliage. Why are we there? When stationary in bushes, when enemies approach, to avoid being detected. Okay, I follow. I see your game. Okay. Shadow gold. You'll love to see it, you'll love to see it. Oh. Dash between the bushes. business. Let me sneak on by. Hey. I oh, should probably uh, tilt this down first, but that's fine. I was right with the world. This is where we used to keep the assassin scrolls. I should try to retrieve as many as I can while I have the chance. Okay. So it seems we get a perk from checking out both ways. Alright. Let's do what we can. Um Ah. So across. We got one. Oh ooh, ooh. ooh. Uh. Okay, we're probably gonna have to use a firecracker on this sucker. Wait, whoa, whoa, I thought that was going to the firecracker on the bottom. Damn it. Okay, you go down there. There we go, okay. <laughs> I had a thunk, and the thunk lets out. I'm to wait for this geezer to turn around. No, don't go down that way. If I wanted you to go that way, I just sent. I've got to get that bloody fragment now, haven't I? Oh joy. Oh for goodness sake. This is where we used to keep the assassin scrolls. I should try to retrieve as many as I can while I have the chance. Alright, so it would appear we've got to translate my yeah, we're actually supposed to go this way first. Cause I just followed that the way through. And uh, actually led to the next section, which I was not interested in. Hmm. Of course, you turned around for about five minutes, and then as soon as I, I should try to retrieve as many as I can.
You don't like you turning around, you're just keeping an eye on that bloody um yeah. Is there any point in me going around this way other than the fragment? Oh dear. Here again. Wait. I don't. I'm. Who would have thought? The old man would have been so well suited to fight those who oppose Zhang Yong. There's a way we can actually go around to that. I'm hoping soon the game will auto save those two scrolls. Birds. Guards use birds to alert, alert them to any nearby intruders. Birds will raise suspicion on all nearby guards if you move through this awareness zone quickly, like running or suddenly like jumping or landing. You can move past a bird without raising suspicion as long as you move slowly by either walking or crawling. Birds will raise the alarm if they are affected by the noise, dart, fire, crack, or throwing knife. Alright, radio. Whatever you say. Oh. Then I immediately go and do it. Why the hell not? I'm supposed to get that fragment. Are you taking the mic? How do we get back around that way? So that's the way to get the third scroll. I thought we had to go a different way to get it. Now I've just got to bloody get back without getting seen again and hopefully reach the next objective. I seriously hope it made an autosave there. If I have to do that section again, I think I might just break my controller. That section was painful. Oh my god. We're only in chapter 2. Chapter 2, ladies and gentlemen. And already. This kid's already made me feel like I want to cry. Ain't it always the way? Right, let's have a look at what we're dealing with here. Mm hmm. Yeah, we've got so we've got one of each. So hopefully that hoping that, that means um okay, I screwed up there. Well, moment of truth. Thank God for that. Okay, let's give this another try. I've had a bit of a break from the game because it was stressing me the hell out. And uh, hopefully with a bit of sanity. I might just be able to do this. Ooh. 
，怎么回事啊？So let's fragment to the level. Okay. So wait for those two on the left just to look away. That's one. Ooh. It's bloody nerve wracking this. Right, we need to get up to the top there. There's a chest up there. Um, what we can do from in here? Okay. Um, let's try without for the time being. I'm going to try and go the top way. So if they go top to turn around. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Breathe. Probably just the wind. Oh, okay. Okay, we got our collectibles. We got the collectibles. I repeat. Hoping for. Okay, it worked. It's fine. It worked. <laughs> I was just hoping to do it for the bottom guy. Uh, we nearly got busted at the end there. Whew, I think we've done it. I think that's level two done. Christ, that was indeed a tricky level. Is it done? Galfeng is dead, Sifu. As is Ma Yongcheng. The butcher. Good. Our plan worked. Who's next? Patience, sister. We must move carefully. Zhang Yong and his tigers control the empire now. He is down two tigers after tonight. Gao Feng did not have the box. I did not retrieve it in time. Worry not, young one. We knew that was a risk. To allow yourself to be captured without the box would have meant certain death. We will get it back. Maybe the Templars will even lead us to the missing piece. Perhaps. But now I'm afraid we have just given our enemies a dangerous weapon. Take some rest, little sister. Together, we will free our land from the Templars and their pawns. Zhang Yong and his tigers. We will rebuild our brotherhood. Hmm. So obviously what they're talking about there is um, Xiao Zhang was in possession of the Precursor Box which Ezio gave to her at the end of um, Assassin's Creed Embers and obviously if you've been watching my series mostly along the lines of um, Assassin's Creed Rogue I think is where it probably plays the most importance in the games we've played so far which is the box that um, Obviously, it was very heavily tied into the story of that game. So, we've got everything. So, we've got all the points. So, we've got enough for our upgrades. So, we can. Um, oh, well, actually, we, we have more than enough to um, expand Eagle Vision. But as you can see, uh, we need 2240 for the increased throwing knife ammo, which you can only do in the plus game mode. But we've got the sink point, nine animal shards, two chests. Uh, we've got the secondary objective, we've got shadow gold. Life is well. Yep, increase the distance of ego vision. And we've got underhang. So, yeah, I'll be um, seeing the next time. Alright, let's back out. I just want to check something. 
Um, hmm, yeah, I was worried about that because we're missing the shard on that one. Um, okay, I'll um, I'll sort that out uh, in between this episode and the next. So let's have a look. So we've got a new document, uh, the scroll number two. While she was still a child, Sheldon witnessed the execution of Lucian, leader of the Tigers, a small group of powerful and influential eunuchs. The Zegdi Emperor had found proof of Lin Lujin's plot to assassinate him and had the traitor tortured using the Lung Chi technique, also known as Death by a Thousand Cuts. The eunuch's agony lasted for two days and the young Sheldon would never forget the punishment for betraying her emperor. Although Lujin had been stealing considerable amounts of gold and silver from the taxis, he was betrayed and entrapped by one of his own men, Zhang Yong, an agent of the Templars and his successor as the head of the Tigers. Mm, blimey. And then if we just go down here, we can see uh, we've got Underhang. So we'll be seeing that in uh, Chapter 3. Pretty cool. Alright, that is going to end it for today. Oof. Uh, I mean, I feel okay now because I had a, a good maybe one or two hours break in between the first part of this episode and this last part. Uh, but that section around the optional objective was really difficult, I remembered that vividly. As soon as I entered that area, I got, like, Vietnam flashbacks to uh, me doing that for the first time on my own. And constantly having to hear Buddy Shard talking about the uh, getting the documents, because I had to restart that checkpoint so many times. Um, which is what I was worried about when I was starting on this Let's Play. I'm like, I know it's been a while, but I feel like I'm still going to get really annoyed by this game. And there it was, so... Um, Hopefully that'll be um, a rarity, but I don't know, so we'll just have to see. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we will see you in memory number three. But before I hop, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My five pound patrons are Ever the Snake and Ron Hyler. Find links to their channels as well as my other three pound patrons in the description down below. And also, we know secrets by one pound patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. It is truly appreciated and it goes a long way to help with the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you should be my patron, you can follow the link in the description down below. We don't have to do that because at the end of the day, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.